So let's get into jig head shape. Now jig head shape is a key to how the jig performs underwater. It's one of the most important parts of a jig. Now the typical standard jig that's been in your grandpa's tackle box and your dad's tackle box and I'm sure your tackle box is a standard ball head jig. And basically it's just a ball on the end of a angled jig head hook and it gets the bait down there and it does the job. They're cheap to make and you'll find them in just about any tackle store in the country. So the disadvantages to them is they don't track super straight. They tend to wobble a little bit more. They're not gonna lay on the bottom very well. They're gonna wanna roll over and kinda lay flat and lifeless on the bottom if you're fishing on the bottom. Um, but they also don't cut current real well. So they don't drop super fast. In a river situation, they're just gonna fall a little bit slower and tend to lift up off the bottom more. So if you're fishing just basic uh, areas where you're gonna lose a lot of jigs these are probably the cheapest ones you can get so that's a huge advantage and they just they do work so um, bulk jigs just keeping them in your tackle box that's probably a great one to use now a little bit more advanced jig is gonna be your pill head jig so this is a pill shaped jig so it's round from the side profile but when you turn it this way you'll see the sides are flat now this jig is going to track a lot straighter than a ball head jig and it's going to fall a little bit faster and it's going to do better in current. So this is a great jig for casting and retrieving swim baits or uh, you know vertical jigging and current like a river. It's going to be great for slicing through that current, keeping your jig tracking straight and that's an awesome option. They also oftentimes have really nice eyes on them and uh, that can be a trigger as well. The third style of jig is going to be kind of a hybrid or like I guess I would call it a deep V jig. And these are fairly new on the walleye scene, but they're a, a top heavy jig that comes down to kind of a keel on the bottom. And these jigs fall really, really fast for their size. They've got those nice flat sides, similar to the pill head jig, but they cut through current really, really well. And uh, the one disadvantage to them is, again, when you hit the bottom with them, they tend to roll over because of the weight on top design. They're not gonna be great for fishing on the bottom, but for vertical fishing, especially in like a river or where you want a fast fall rate, these things are awesome. And I really, really like these jigs. Now, the next head shape is the stand-up jig. So a stand-up jig is basically flat on the bottom, and that's gonna allow this jig to sit upright and it's gonna basically have that bait just up in the fish's face. And if the fish are feeding on the bottom, a stand-up jig is a really good choice because you can lift it, drop it, and that bait stays above the mud and kind of wiggles in their face. It's visible even when it's on the bottom. It doesn't lay over flat and the fish can see it and they can just come down and suck it right in off the bottom. Now here's another shape that's fairly new to the walleye scene and that's the pear-shaped jig. So a pear-shaped jig is a little bit more weight forward than a round jig and that's going to keep it more horizontal because the weight is kind of pulling down on the front of that jig. So these are great for fishing under a float like a slip bobber, you know, or a vertical jigging. They're going to they're going to really keep that thing horizontal in all conditions and you don't ever have to worry about it tipping down on you. So that's a good shape for uh, those situations. And then we have your minnow bait head. So the minnow bait head is basically shaped like a minnow head and that is going to keep that bait tracking really straight. It's also going to match up well with plastic right here where the seam is. You're not gonna get a neck down spot where the head is actually wider than the plastic. It's gonna match up and look like a streamlined profile all the way across that jig. And that works really well for casting and retrieving swim baits. It's one of my favorite swim bait jigs is the minnow head jig. Now here's one more style that I would consider uh, a very good jig for fishing in weeds. And that is like I guess I would call it more of a uh, triangle style jig where there's a point that comes to the line tie at the front and that's going to snake through weeds a lot better than a jig tie coming off the top and it's kind of a streamlined head designed for the weeds to just kind of slip over that jig and that works much better in heavier cover and uh, some of them have weed guards as well but that's uh, one of my favorite jigs for fishing weeds is what I would call a triangle shaped jig.